at the moment ng management light not on however straightly i identify you can hear this is end of the radiator could be that sensor problem if it not could be why zero zero b3 before that now we know the problem i'm going back read you can't lock the sensor that's why the problem but make sure when you remove the old sensor remove o-ring if it's stuck inside you need to remove that one otherwise you can't install welcome to the channel i'm charlie from sanu motors today i got voxroll astra i think 2012 model basically customer said uh, engine management light on at the moment i don't have uh, any idea what's going on here first of all i'm going to start the car at the moment engine management light not on however straightly i identify you can hear fan going on however i am going to open the bonnet inside all off no heating or no aircon on and i am going to open the bonnet you can see as it is that fan working i'm going to switch off the car bit noisy here right much better basic basically the fan problem could be first thing we need to check the coolant level i can see it's in a correct level then next step this car has a uh, three sensors first sensor you can see underneath this wire there is a sensor for the water plant could be that sensor could be faulty or sometime there is a another sensor this one that's one for the thermostat or could be another sensor there end of the radiator you can see here this one this is end of the radiator could be that sensor problem if it not could be wiring never know first of all i'm going to plug in my computer and have a look with the computer if you still not subscribe my channel please do it now and press bell icon then you can get our lot of useful video and tips like this if you have any question comment suggestion please mention below i'll come back to you as soon as possible let's go inside the car i plug in my computer here and ignition on got the faulty code there is a two faulty code first one p 0 0 b 3 radiator coolant temperature rct sensor circuit low voltage look like to me something not right with the radiator sensor and another sensor for the p 0 3 3 5 camshaft position sensor circuit but however if it this faulty car will not start sometime it's dragging to start however the car starting fine everything okay then i'm going to attack to the p 0 0 b3 before that now we know the problem i'm going back read data stream
I can't take much detail from here. Right at the moment, you can see I delete the faulty code. I'm going to leave it everything as it is, and I'm going to the engine bay. What I'm going to do in here, this sensor wire sensor right behind of here, I'm going to replace that sensor and have a look. Sometime you can remove this wire and bypass the wire and you can check temperature gauge working or not. However, I'm not going to worry about that one because most common problem for the these cars that sensor going to be fault and also computer confirm radiator sensor faulty i'm going to change that radiator sensor what we had to do we had to unplug electric connector from the sensor after that pull little bit you can see that that metal clip pull up remove the sensor install new one quickly then you won't lose your coolant if it's losing if it's little bit then you can top up however i'm going to change the sensor this is the new sensor it comes with o-ring and the metal clip however i'm not going to use this metal clip because original metal clip bit fat and strong then i'm going to quickly remove the sensor in there and install this one quick and show you it's very difficult to film but i'll try to do as much i can right now i can press here in here back field right right you can see it's remove it already need to press this tab in the back and remove after that i'm going to lift up this metal clip remove the sensor quickly and install new sensor i change the sensor now you can see fan not spinning basically coolant also not much drop you can see tiny bit it's dropped even i didn't do the coolant bottle it's in the correct level then the another thing I want to mention this time, once I going to remove the old sensor, you can see it came out. But remember, new sensor has a O-ring here. What happened to the, this sensor when I remove the? Sensor, this O-ring stuck inside the radiator this one i'll use in my pick and remove the old o-ring what happened if it all o-ring stuck inside when you install new sensor with the o-ring it's not going in properly you can't lock the sensor that's why the problem but make sure when you remove the old sensor remove o-ring if it's stuck inside you need to remove that one otherwise you can't install new sensor in that's why the problem now you can see fan not kicking engine running fine all going smooth if you have a like this problem you know what to do now please subscribe and follow my channel then you can get a lot of useful video and tips like this if you have any question comment suggestion please mention below i'll come back to you as soon as possible Thanks for watching. See you with another video.